Did you worship Jesus or you worship Mary? Pardon? You worship Jesus or you worship Mary? You worship Jesus. Mary is his mother. She's your mother. If she's not my mother. Don't, that's don't she, don't, no. Don't knock her. No. Knock that's Mary, idol. If you knock Mar Mary, you knock Jesus. No, that's idol. Fine. God okay, said, I'm "Don't worship the I'm idol." An idol man. Idol worshiper. Mary. You I you love need. Mary. She's not the mediator. You tell me one scripture where the Bible says to venerate Mary. Show me one scripture. The Bible says she's blessed, period. Doesn't say to venerate her. That's why you walk away. Because the, right, the righteous are bold as lions, but the wicked flee. Because you have no rebuttal, man. You want to stay in your false religion, you're going to go to hell fire. You gotta worship Jesus Christ. Don't bow to statues. If you bow to statues, that's idolatry. We're not supposed to bow to statues, kiss the feet of statues, light incense, venerate Mary, pray to the dead, confess our sins to a priest. All those are started by man. Vain religion. Late 3rd century AD. Because they followed a different way other than the ways of the apostles in the first century. Peter said in Acts 2.38, Repent. It means turn away from your sins, including idolatry. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, not titles, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, which is initially evident by speaking in new tongues, Mark 16. All you guys are doing is going through rituals. Vain religion that has traces in ancient Babylon when they worship three headed gods and they offer their children unto the fire, unto Moloch. That's what you do when you bring your children out here to worship Mary and bow to statues and say the rosary. None of that's ordained in the Bible because you teach your children the wrong way. You got to repent. And come out of this idolatry. Stop worshiping Mary. Stop venerating Mary. You got to venerate Jesus Christ. The Bible says Mary is blessed. Huh? No, you need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Spirit, man. You don't have discernment. He says that this is the one true religion, the Roman Catholic Church. My friend, this Roman Catholic Church did not start on the day of Pentecost. This was started by Roman, Roman bishops in Rome. People who strayed away from the truth. They started their own religion. You know why? They changed the name of baptism from Jesus Christ to Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Bible says to baptize them in the name, singular, of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. And all you guys do is you sprinkle the babies. You call that a baptism. They don't even know what repentance is. You only get baptized when you come to full repentance. Acknowledgement of your sin. Oh, but you guys are just walking into hell's fire so ignorantly. And I want you to come out. I don't want you to be lost. I don't want you to perish. I don't want you to go to hell for worshiping Mary. I don't want you to go to hell for bowing to statues. I got the Holy Spirit. That's all the life I need, man. You need to come out. You're a zombie. You're a walking dead. You have no Holy Ghost in you. That's why you bring your family to a corrupt religion. You're not a true shepherd of their soul. All you do is follow the religion of your fathers. You have no spirit of discernment. You have no true power. Hallelujah. I understand that you were raised in this religion, but you need to start doing study for yourself and understand that the Roman Catholic Church didn't begin on the day of Pentecost. It began about 200 years later because there are rebellious Christians that went away and they formed their own religion and they fell from the truth. And then they started incorporating ancient Babylonian tactics by worshiping figures and figurines and praying to other deities other than the one true God, Jehovah. Amen. Amen. And they worship the Queen of Heaven, Ishtar. Mother Mary is her image. The Queen of Heaven. 
We acknowledge that Mary was blessed. We thank God for the mother of Jesus. But we don't go beyond the line and start to worship her and pray to her and venerate her and ask her for intercession. Because when you do that, you violate the laws of God. You've crossed over into idolatry. But you think you're going to have your sins wiped away by coming to Mass? Come on, man. You're deceiving yourself, man. There's no remission of sins here. Remission of sins comes through a new birth, a new life, being born of water and of the Spirit. Oh, you're playing games with God. You're just coming out to a religious service, but you have no true born-again experience. You don't have the Holy Ghost. Spirito Santo. You need the Spirito Santo. You need God inside of you. You need to understand that bowing and venerating Mary is an idolatry act. It's an act of idolatry. There's nowhere in the Bible where it says to ask Mary for intercession. That's a lie from your Catholic priest. Why don't you tell your children the truth, but you take them into this place and you lead them into a dead end, man. You're not a good shepherd. You're not a good shepherd. You're not a good shepherd. Don't wave to me. I don't want your waves. I want you to bring your family out of this place and truly get born again. Get baptized in Jesus' name and get filled with the Holy Ghost. You'll speak in new tongues and prophesy and magnify God. You're leading your kids in the wrong direction, sir. If you had any gall, if you had any gut, if you had a backbone, you lead them into the true church of Jesus Christ, which is not composed of denominations, articles of faith, but it's built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. But you come out here and you say the rosary, you bring your kids into a vain religion, you don't even have the Holy Spirit. No one has their Bible. Young man, where's your Bible? Do you ever bring a Bible to church? How are you, how are you going to tell what's right and wrong? You got to have your Bible, man. You got to understand what that priest is telling you, if it's true or not. And I'll tell you, he's not telling you the truth. Got to have your Bible, young man. You got to study the Word of God. I pray that you'll come out of this religion one day and come into the truth of God's Word, man. Be saved one day. In Jesus' name, it's going to come upon you, man. The Spirit of God. Hallelujah. God's leading you, young man, into truth. Study for yourself, okay? He'll show you, man. He'll show you.